Hi, I'm back with week nine. Uh, sorry, it's a bit late. I was busy looking for work and, uh, okay, I was also playing Batman, but hey, it's a really good game. I have to personally apologize to Camden Town. It's not as lame as I thought. If you walk past all the overpriced stores for cosplayers, you get to Camden Lock. Camden Lock is still uber touristy, but you can get vintage clothing, arts and crafts, wildly colorful accessories, and go into a store that sells, I kid you not, juggling stuff and skateboards. Just in case you ever want to be a juggling bohemian 1930s flapper on wheels. There's also a whole lot of food, but don't be fooled by the variety of Asian food you see on the signs. They all serve the exact same noodles and stir fry. But the coolest thing was that Kareem got to hug an alpaca. An alpaca! They're like tiny little llamas. Borough Market was recommended for street food, but we unfortunately went on the wrong day of the week. Two thirds of it was closed. Still, there were enough stalls to keep us entertained. Selling fresh produce, meats, European delicacies, breads, and flowers. As for street food, we got some Furness fish soup, which was pretty good. There were also a lot of side streets to wander down, and I'm glad we did because we found Neil's Yard Dairy, an English cheese store. This is my heaven and Kareen's hell. She described the smell as the biggest pile of gym socks ever, but I still found a cheese called Stinking Bishop. And yes, I bought some. It was actually a very mild and creamy cheese for something that smelled like a garbage truck. We also went to Covent Garden where they had more market stalls. This was the end of November, so naturally they started putting up Christmas decorations. This area is around what a lot of people consider the center of London, so yet again lots of food stalls and stores for tourists. Kareen had a curry while I had a pork pie with apple chunks in it. Yum. While we ate, an acrobat started to perform for the crowd. I was just happy he was using Michael Jackson music. Everybody was clapping along. One evening, we stumbled upon an old toy store called Pollock's Toy Museum. The toys themselves weren't old. Well, they were old school, and the store itself felt like a time warp to the past. It was such an odd experience that I wondered if the store would simply disappear in a puff of colorful smoke once we left. That was week 9. Expect week 10 sometime soon because I want to catch up. Bye.